Hi guys, welcome to Project Speak. In last video, we saw how to start and stop the sphere portal using command prompt as well as first steps. So, continuing with those tutorials, in this video, we will see what we have installed, or we can say we'll explore the sphere application server console and portal console. So, let's start. With the VAS console. So I have this URL with me and I will paste it in the browser. Now I'll go to advanced and I'll click on proceed to local host. So this is nothing but issue with the certificates on this machine. We'll ignore that and we'll come to this login page. So now it is asking for username and password. So if you remember during installation, we provided admin credentials. So same credentials we need to provide here. I will type admin admin. And I'll click on login. So now question comes from where you will get this URL because port can refer from diff, from machine to machine. So how you will get this URL? The shortest way to find it out is we will go to our WP profile and then first steps. So if you remember this bat file, we will run this bat file for now. And if you see we have option of administrative console. So from here you can find this URL. Just click on this link and it will take you to the Westfield application console. So it will take some time and this is the console of Westfield application server or Westfield network deployer 8.5. So here you can see the server name, here you can see the version If you click on applications, when you click on Vesper Enterprise applications, you can see all the applications installed installed on our Vesper application server. So we will see all the features in Vesper application server in subsequent tutorials. But for now, we will move on to Vesper portal server. So I have this URL with me for portal URL: localhost 10039, the port number, and then this is the context route for the portal. I'll explain about this context route and I will explain how to change this context route in subsequent tutorials. But for now, we will go to portal. And uh, this is the URL. If you hit that URL, it will take you to the home page, which is the landing page for IBM Raspberry portal. So, to see the administrative options, we have to log in. So, I click on login. And I think it was already logged in. Earlier, I was getting username password window. There, you have to provide the same credentials which what we provided in Raspberry application server because that is a admin account. So this is the page you will get after login. And if you go to settings, we have option of portal settings. We have option of portal content, which will take you to Vesper content management and we have option for virtual portal and all. So we will see all these features in subsequent tutorials. For now I will take you to administrative console or you can say administrative options.
So these are the options we have with the admin user. So we can change portal interface and portlet management, access, portlet settings, portal content management, which is nothing but Vesphere content management and then uh, virtual portal. We'll see all these things in subsequent tutorials, but for now we will just see what all we have installed and uh, we will start with the explanation of all these features in subsequent tutorials. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos on Vesphere.